Oh my goodness. We got a new rug. But it was folded six ways to Sunday. So, I got it pulled out in the middle of the floor. I kind of wanted it, you know, up under the couch and up under these two chairs so everybody has soft feet. But uh, I'm going to have to give it a few days to flatten out. They're both supposed to be done by 12. But the rug pad is sticking out <laughs> on multiple edges. Um, a lot on this edge. Wouldn't you have me some groceries? So yeah, I've got a lot of stick out over here, but we'll... You can see I got corners flapping up. That corner's flapping up from the rugs, and I got all sorts of wrinklies, and it's not flat at all, so we'll... We'll slide feed on it for a week or two. We'll see if we can't get all the kinks out. This would have been better to get in the middle of the summer when it's 700 degrees in here, because that definitely make it flatten out. But... Looks better. Okay, this is the big test. Need to uh, test out this new GoPro. I bought a third one because it just came out with the 10. So I got this one for cheap. I am so lucky. I don't know if you can see the, the long discoloration of kind of white with a red edge all along my forearm. But I was washing my bike and you know motorcycles you can't get all the water everywhere so you take it for a spin after you get most of the uh, come on focus fuck after you get most of the uh, the water off take it for a quick spin up the road do some quick turns and stuff shake off the extra and then you come back and wipe any water drops off that appear and generally generally I remember to uh, not go into the area where the pipe is but this time I totally forgot and just burn the ever-living shite out of myself so I've run it under water for a while and I'm gonna put some allocane on it and I'm sure it'll be fine but me dum dum this is about I don't know 14 hours fourteen hours after the burn maybe give or take Oh, it's about, oh wait, no, it's about 24 hours after the burn. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? And I addressed it almost immediately. As soon as it happened, I went inside and I put allocane on it. You're supposed to flush it in cool water, not cold, but cool water for 10 to 15 minutes first. To take, But that's generally to reduce the pain. It actually didn't hurt that bad. So, uh, yeah, pretty good. I had it wrapped up all day yesterday. Applied allocane several times and had it wrapped in gauze, and uh, took it off last night before I went to bed. Of course, I haven't been in the bath or the shower, so I don't imagine that's going to be a pleasant experience. And I did that to my foot, which is freaking awesome. I mean, it's not really awesome; it's awful. But that's not awful. That's cute as can be. Day three. Pretty sure yesterday was day three, and this is day four, but this could be five. So I made a video this morning actually for day four, day five, but this is the first day I actually went and did anything. I went for a motorcycle ride and I wrapped it up to keep it protecting, keep protecting, keep protected, but apparently it got a little moist. And then when I was installing my new rug here, I, uh, I scraped. I was moving furniture and I scraped some skin off and it came off easy because it was all moist. So that kind of sucks, but probably going to scab now, maybe scar. Meh. I definitely didn't film yesterday. I'm not sure I filmed the day before. It's looking so much better. I took a shower last night and most of the, uh, most of the scabbing came off. <laughs> I avoided showering for a couple days to try to give it some time to you know, heal up without getting so moist. Give it some time to scab over and let the underside of the skin heal. And for the most part, it's looking pretty good. I might not even have a scar. What day is this? I didn't film yesterday. I'm pretty sure I tell you every time I skip a day, I think I've only skipped two days. 
Looking pretty good. The lighting in here could not be worse. I hadn't been picking at it or anything, it's just however it comes out of the bath. You know, it always softens up and some of the shit always comes out when I bathe. And then, oh, disgusting. The next day, oh, look at the mark. I scratched myself, I had an itch, forgot I had a scab, and it was just bleeding like a farker, so I had it covered up most of the day, if you can see that little gash, and then I was talking about it with my wife, which made me start picking a scab on this end, because I'm a picker, oh, it just won't even focus, disgusting, I mean, it actually looks pretty healthy, I mean, you shouldn't pick scabs. But beyond that, it's actually looking really good. And I can't believe it never really actually hurt. I mean, I treated it immediately, which I rarely have the opportunity to do. Or have had the opportunity to do in my past when I burned myself. But, yeah, it could have been a lot worse. Another week, be mostly gone probably. Except for maybe a little bit of scar tissue. Definitely didn't film yesterday. This is after washing and scrubbing it. Pretty good. I guess it's been about a week or so. Don't think I filmed it yesterday. I'm not sure about the day before. I keep on scratching it. I mean, I've totally picked it a couple times because I'm a picker. But mostly, I just it itches and I forget, and I go to scratch, and then I gouge off a scab. So, and it's really itchy now, so it's on the ass end of it. It's been probably a week or more since I filmed this. So you can see it's almost completely healed. Just a couple of spots that uh, I have picked a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I think there's going to be a pretty decent scar there. I mean, not cheap. Overall, though, not too bad. For like 200 and something dollars. A little over 200. Like 250 after tax and stuff. We'll test it out, make sure it doesn't overheat. While my return window is still open, make sure it's a good, it's a good camera. Um, <clears throat> just running to Home Depot real quick. Of course, it's not very hot, so it's not gonna be a great test. But the only time, or the main time, it, they do seem to overheat is when, uh, when I'm running them in the heat. But, and I should have put the camera way over there, but my cord would have been in the way, so you're gonna have a real close up view for, of me. <clears throat> and uh, so, yeah, and you love that gang. So, I gotta run back to Home Depot real quick and do a return because I bought 12 bottles, I bought a case of this for 62 bucks plus tax, and they sent me one bottle. And I was online with customer service and they couldn't do anything for me. They're like, oh yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, we walked through the whole process, but they're like, yeah, I don't know. I guess you have to return it. I'm like, well, you were literally no help. Got a new bait pen because yeah, I'll be taking trips with the old lady. And uh, I do need a little bit of I need something to I need something to fiddle with and occupy my my uh, not nervous ticks, but just my whatever the hand to mouth addiction that still exists. It just doesn't exist with cigarettes. When I go on trips, I can't smoke. <coughs> so. Uh, Vape will be a nice substitute. <laughs> Thank you.
I definitely got a hole somewhere. Well shit, I was gonna freaking go get some sour cream so I could make enchiladas. Cause I bought sour cream earlier, but then I forgot about it with all the, I thought, oh, I only bought milk, cold groceries. The other groceries can wait till later. Two hours later, go to put them away. Sour cream still on the floor. So I tossed that, just gonna buy some more, but, and I was gonna go get some extra alcohol, but uh, I think I'll go ahead and take it to the house and see if I can't make it there. So I don't have to call AAA. And I was gonna get something to eat here because the enchiladas were gonna be for tomorrow since it's already gotten so late. And I was just gonna get a burger or something. But, no, we're just taking it on to the house and try to keep them slow. Which is low. up a zip line between the two trees <laughs> oh god dang it sorry it's really close up so I'm trying not to uh... and they're all leaving or something going to grandparents for the weekend or something please we zip line before we go daddy that's awesome It's a male cat, and those are definitely its cousins, baby cousins, but it's just funny to see a male cleaning babies. Get in here, you leave them babies. Of course, we've been calling 12 a female from the very beginning because I thought it was a female until I bothered to pick them up one day and actually look, and I'm like, oh, these are nuts. <laughs> so I got those chopped off. Look at this absolute incel in front of me and his little gay sticker. Fuck Joe and the Ho and fuck is spelled out in firearms. What an absolute cuck lord. <laughs> well, I have bad news. The bad news is that, well, bad news, I can never get this tripod straight. So you're gonna have to live with almost straight. And, uh, the other bad news is my freaking bike will not start. I got a multimeter on the way, which technically I could borrow, but I just need one. I don't have one. So to check my battery for some reason, you know, even though the whole the damn thing isn't even, it's literally just out of warranty. It had a six month warranty on it. I've had it for just over six months. I've had it right around seven or so. Maybe just about, maybe just under eight. And, uh, so yeah, to check to see if the battery's for some reason bad. If it is, then not that big of a deal. Spend it, probably go ahead and spend 150 bucks or whatever, get one of those new lithium ion ones that are better for cold weather. And probably go ahead and invest in a, in a battery tender also. Like, you know, those battery doctors or whatever that just, a trickle, trickle charger. And, uh, because this is bullshit. And if it's not that, then I guess it could be, I mean, I guess it could be, <clears throat> I literally couldn't find anything online. Because, you know, the bike's only been around for 
a little over two years. Well, not I mean, not two years, almost two years. Came out in 2020. Mine's a 21. So I don't know. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's gonna be an easy fix because I'm I'm pretty pretty ticked off about the whole situation. But good news, I finally broke down. I've had I've had a, I've had for three or four years I've at least three two at least three years I've had a, I've had a a set of pans saved in my Amazon queue. I finally went to go purchase it, and they were actually out of it. So I bought the set lower, which just literally just is missing two pieces, which is the steamer insert and the pasta insert. But this was, it was, I couldn't resist because, ah, I would have waited, but this was like $150 off. Uh, this glass lid, of course. Ooh. Nice. So dishwasher safe, safe up to either 450 or 500 degrees good for induction glass electric or uh you know regular traditional um or glass top stainless steel baby pretty excited so that's the eight quart they're like artisan uh what's that about what's that about what's that mark in my stainless steel pan son of a Seems like it's good quality. These are supposed to be some high quality pans, like actual, like, you know, legitimate. How you doing? This dude's, this dude's about an idiot. Like, the city literally came by like an hour and a half ago and mowed everything. Well, technically they mowed all this actually yesterday. They mowed the other side of the stop sign about an hour and a half ago when I was going to town. And this jackass, oh, I wish I would've got the phone on quicker. He just about had it turned over in the fucking ditch. Tractor's way too goddamn small to be mowing that ditch. That ditch is way too detrimental. This dumb city fuck. Done bought himself an old tractor and he thinks he's a fucking farmhand now. About to be freaking sidewards in the ditch in a second. Just absolute dipshit. Grass don't even need to be mowed. Don't even know what the fuck he's doing. Like, does that look like long grass to you? Okay, not creep factor for sure. Just, it's funny, right? It's Halloween. I mean, this video won't go up for months. Is my camera moving on its own? What is going on? What is going on? Did y'all see that? Like shifting left and right, very weird. I'm not touching it on a solid floor. This tripod must be slightly off. Weird. But yeah, so they're all in their costumes. This is my neighbors and my neighbors across the street. So it's just both my neighbors. And I mean, technically it's part, half of them are my family, right? Um, but yeah, I just think it's hilarious. It's freaking cold outside too. This one in the blue dress has got like, it's like a one sleeve. You can't even saunt it. Oh, that's as close as I get because my wife's phone gets closer. But yeah, can you see that she's only got, no, she's got to turn the other way. It's freaking cold. I don't know how she's not cold. I assume she'll have a jacket on soon. I wish I had a closer zoom so I could see what the kids are dressed up as. The little one in the red coat, it, cape, it looks like he has a dinosaur horn on his head. I don't know what's going on. They're having fun. They got the fire going. They got some Bud Light. That's my only criticism of this whole operation thus far. But, uh... Oh, is there some sort of a... We had everybody rush to the fire. What was that about? I don't know. Oh, man. To be a kid on Halloween... Never had a country Halloween as a kid, though. Wouldn't know anything about that. Okay, I digress. Apologize. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know when the last time I filmed uh, filmed this cat. You know, getting pretty big now. Twelve, twelve. 
this is cat's name and uh, always sleeps with its tail curled it her I'm using gender neutral pronouns because I thought it was a girl forever and so now it's just I don't know I always call him I interchange sometimes he's a boy sometimes he's a girl so uh, it's confused confused kitten and cat but yeah this is actually a fairly normal position but usually the sleeps with a he he she sleeps with a, his body completely contorted in crazy odd positions but the one factor that's almost always constant is that little half circle tail so freaking cute i just want to touch him he's so furry oh my goodness he's so furry and fluffy and just rotten it's all get out Yeah, you didn't at all. You blowing everything out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, your kneecap shot. I gutter balled that, didn't I? Yeah. Just walk up and throw it, boo. Oh, I'm going to, but okay. my knees have to work to do Thank <laughs> you. 
60 seconds before the moon disappears behind the clouds. looks like the moon, but it's not. It's just the illumination from it, the reflection of the light off the clouds, the thinner part of the clouds that are dark with rain. You see how black they get? Those are the wispy white ones. You see the dark ones. Soon it'll be virtually gone. No more light in the room. Literally twisted in half.